Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you all my toddler's wash day routine. Um, now that she's a little older, she sits a lot better. So I'm super excited to show you guys how these things go with her. Um, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and take down this hairstyle that she's had in for about a week and a half, almost two weeks. And then we're going to go ahead and begin pre-pooing her hair. So if you're interested in seeing this wash day routine, please stay tuned for more. So here I begin to struggle guys because she has a bad tendency of being really rough on her hair. She literally takes her hand and just rubs all in her head and it causes these ballies to wrap around her ponytails a little more than they should. So right here I had to literally cut it out in order to get the ponytail waistband out. I was really tripping going past a week and a half with her hairstyle. Like we usually just go a week and then we'll do her full wash day routine and give her, her a brand new hairstyle because girl is rough. So big tip, if you have a little rough head like me, you know, don't go past a week without doing something, you know, refreshing a full wash day, something. I, like I said, I was tripping with this one, but we managed to get it out and proceed. So now I'm going to go ahead and begin pre pooing her hair with some of this aloe vera that I had in the refrigerator. This is my favorite thing to use for her pre poos This is what we use every single time, literally. So before applying the aloe vera, I'm going to go ahead and saturate her hair with water. I'm going to make sure that her hair is very hydrated before applying this aloe. Although the aloe is going to add hydration and a lot of nutrients, you want to make sure that your hair is very moist before applying this aloe vera. Well, there are many different ways that you can do this. However, my favorite way to do it is just to cut up the aloe vera and smooth it through her hair as I'm doing now. You can make aloe juice. You can actually make the aloe gel. I'm just going to take the aloe, puncture it as I go to release more of the gel, and just smooth it through her hair. This is actually a lot easier when it still has the green stem on it because it's not as slippery, but I removed all the green stem to preserve the aloe in the refrigerator, so this is what I'm working with right now. Once I have all the aloe vera applied in her hair, I'm gonna go ahead and just detangle her hair completely. This helps with detangling after shampooing. All of the kinks and knots that are in her hair now will not be there once I wash. No matter how I wash her hair, it's not gonna tangle as much as it would be before. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick out her hair and then we're gonna move on to washing it. all detangled out I'm gonna go ahead and place her bonnet on her head for about 10 minutes wash and then we'll come right back Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm 
Nieto. All right, guys, so now it's time to start styling her hair. And before we do that, we are going to be adding Pantene's Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream. This cream is so amazing. Her hair loves this cream. With her having 4C hair, she needs some extra oomph, you know. So we love a good cream and a nice oil to top it off with. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm adding the buttercream and then I'm going to add some oil to seal in the cream and then begin styling. So if you're still with us and you're still interested in her cute little hairstyle, please do stay tuned.
So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this one, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you want to see some more of her cute little hairstyles in the future. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and cut on your bell notification so you can keep up with everything we post. Thank you so much and we love you all.